coming up. So come over the whole earth an intense darkness, lasting three days and three nights. Nothing can be seen, and the air will be laden with pestilence, which will claim mainly, but not only, the enemies of religion. It will be impossible to use any man-made lighting during this darkness. It is currently an issue that is trending on social media. They say there will be three days of darkness starting today, the 4th of April to the 7th of April, 2021. So I'm mentioning this because I had a dream two months ago and we'll call, I was told based off of this prophet that I listened to that that day is coming quickly and as he mentioned April 4th, 2021. So that's only a couple of days from now. This is the 28th and it's on a Sunday. Let me see if I'm God correct. Yes, March 28th on a Sunday, praise God. And this was, this is happening so soon if this is the case because um, I guess he looked, we'll call forward on the dates to compare if it's going to be this year because he heard God said April 4th on a Sunday and no dates fall on a Sunday that's on April 4th, but this year, 2021, amen. So three days of darkness is right around the corner. I'm just telling you, saints, let's just be ready. Amen for what's, what could come. Amen. Or what may come. Because it's going to come. But we don't know exactly when. But I started, I felt so compelled and so stirred up that this could be what God was talking to me about. Because he talked to me about this like last year. About getting ready. And I got ready. But now, I'm making sure I got everything that I'm supposed to have for this moment. All right? So make sure you get, you cover your windows, lock your doors. Saints, lock your doors, cover your windows. Don't listen to anything outside whispering, knocking your door, whispering through your windows, anything, because anything out there is not of God, and anything that's out there is not alive, because it's wicked, wickedness. There shall come over the whole earth an intense darkness, lasting three days and three nights. Nothing can be seen, and the air will be laden with pestilence, which will claim mainly, but not only, the enemies of religion. It will be impossible to use any man-made lighting during this darkness except blessed candles. He who out of curiosity opens his window to look out or leaves his home will fall dead on the spot. During these three days, people should remain in their homes, pray the rosary, and beg God for mercy. All the enemies of the church, whether known or unknown, will perish over the whole earth during that universal darkness, with the exception of a few whom God will soon convert. The air shall be infected by demons who will appear under all sorts of hideous forms. So, scary prophecy. It needs to be said that um, a prophecy from even a saint is not to be taken at the same level as the inspired sacred scripture. So it's meant to be taken with a grain of salt. Any prophecy comes through a human filter and shouldn't be taken literalistically. It's, it's imagery that if it's coming from a saint who's known for her gift of prophecy should be taken seriously, uh, but again, not literalistically. So a few thoughts on this, and I'm just, I'm just theorizing and speculating. Uh, first of all, we're already in a situation where people are already locking themselves in their homes out of fear of a pestilence outside. Now, I'm still getting out for a daily bike ride or a daily walk. Thanks be to God, we're still allowed to do that. It's been wonderful, and I encourage you, if you can, please do that. Um, but some places, you can't. You're locked in. Now, we've had volcanoes lately. We know that big eruption of volcanoes can shroud parts of the world with, with a darkness. And so, again, this is totally theorizing, speculating. 
Um, but there could be eruption of volcanoes, for example, that could shroud the world in, in a darkness for three days and you can't go outside because there's a pestilence. And can you imagine, it says here, um, it will be impossible to use any man-made lighting during this darkness. Now that could mean losing our, our electrical power. But my thought is imagine if for some- uh, It's the 1st of April. I just wanna quickly drop this message because the Lord has put it in my heart and um, just to prepare you for the coming days ahead of us, okay? Prepare yourself. Uh, it's about the three days of darkness. So somebody asked me on my page to see um, what they need to do. What about the three days of darkness? If the Lord has shown me something. Yes, the Lord did. I'm just going to quickly read uh, Revelation 9 because that's where we are. That's where we are, believe it or not. That's where we are right now. Revelation 9, the fifth trumpet, the locust from the bottomless pit. I will just read from 1 and 2. Then the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star falling from heaven to earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and smoke arose, arose out of it like the smoke of a great furnace. furnace. So then the sun, the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. I'm just going to leave it there. I will end there for now. So this three days of darkness is coming because a few weeks ago, uh, the Lord showed me in the month of February and in the month of March, the Lord showed me two different dreams. Okay. One was the, the sun, the moon and the light. And I asked the Lord, what does this mean? You know, but I left it there because I know that the Lord is telling me, you know, to, to be patient and wait for it. And and in March, in the beginning of March, the Lord then showed me, you know, I'm always in fasting. So when I'm in fasting, the Lord pumped me with revelations, with revelation things to come. So then the Lord showed me three moons. And in these three moons, while I was looking, I'm like, why is three moons just hanging there? All of a sudden, there was a huge black hole. There was a huge black hole that started sucking everything inside the black hole that just came out in the middle of the, of the, of the road. It just came out and started sucking everything in. You know, so this was the Lord telling me that the darkness is coming and it is here. It is here. It's almost busting hope open. Okay. The other day, uh, just social media was set alight as a number of so-called prophets. Uh, social media tend prophets say in one way or the other, God revealed this to them. So I, I normally go to the Lord to, to ask for confirmation. Okay. So I heard of the three days of darkness, but I, I, I did not believe. I don't even know how to prepare for it because uh, um, my mind doubted so much that how would closing your windows and everything prevent you from the enemy it should be the Lord. Um, but as, it's, as things may be, the Lord gave me a, a revelation and I asked him, I said, Lord Jesus, two weeks before the revelation, I said, Lord, please show this to me. Please confirm it to me in any form that I may believe in. I may prepare my, I may warn your people, you know, and I did that believing in my heart and, and then I slept. Um, and then, and then that night I was in a dream and currently I do not live with my parents. I live alone at the moment, trying to seek the face of God where I am. Um, but at that, in that dream, I was living with my parents. And normally, uh, when I tell my parents things like this, they do not believe me. They, 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 they did not believe me. And me, myself, I wasn't really that convicted. So I just mentioned it to them. Um, I, I believe I mentioned this to my, to my sisters, like, last year or something. But... It looks like I just we just just forgot about it, and um, the Lord, the Lord gave me this revelation, and in this revelation I was with my family, and when I was with them, I asked them, I said, "Have you heard about the three days of darkness?" And then it's still as usual, no one believed, no one you know, said anything. So um, in in my dream. Immediately I asked them, I looked outside the window and I saw that the clouds was getting very, very, was getting like it wants to rain. 
you know how it looks like when it wants to rain you could tell and I, I saw it was getting like it wants to rain but it was getting even more darker and darker and darker and I said well, what what's happened to this to the sky like it's getting dark and when I looked at it it was getting darker and within few minutes or within few seconds it got so dark and I heard something say close your windows are these the doomsday prophets or these are genuine prophetic words that are coming from the throne of grace it remains to be seen if these words will come to pass from this day onwards i'm not saying that those who have spoken spoke lies i'm not here to criticize them neither am i here to run with the message uh there have been a lot of things said about this thing uh one that is going to be sunday and that uh, it's going to be three days and that it's going to be 10 30 then also that um, till on the seventh is going to still be dark uh, my advice is that please let us be very very careful when we give specifications and when we give dates uh, a brother uh, i watched a, a brother's video that was sent to me and he said that the only time that fits into uh, the description according to the visions and dreams is uh, April 4, that is 4th of April, today is 1st of April 2021. And that um, the only time that fits into it is this uh, April, that means uh, three days from now is when he is actually talking about today is april 1 and uh, on the fourth is gonna be uh sunday yes it's gonna be sunday and that till seventh is was dark it was still dark so please let us be careful when we set dates because there are baby christians who listen to who watch our videos if we are really super super sure about what the lord is telling us uh, we are free to proclaim it but we have to really double check everything that we hear and we receive from the lord uh, we know we hear in part we know in part and we prophesy in part so let us be very very careful so that paraventure it doesn't happen that same day the same moment uh, unbelievers will not make mockery of christianity and also uh, baby christians will not give up on their faith let us be very very careful so that we don't do that which will bring a lot of raise a lot of questions uh, for the next three days, a lot will be told.